Today I'm going to show you how to use Scratch on your computer. To get started, you need to open a web browser. I'm using Safari, which is on the Macintosh. You might be using something like Internet Explorer or Firefox or some other web browser. It shouldn't matter. They all should work well. To get to Scratch, you can click on one of the links we have on the course website. One thing I often like to do is just type Scratch in a search engine. And because Scratch is so popular, it's one of the first things that shows up usually. Here it says Scratch, Imagine, Program, and Share. And it's based out of MIT. You can see it's in an MIT website. That's a school that invented Scratch. So I'm going to click on that Scratch link. And it takes me to the Scratch website. There's a lot of stuff that goes on here. People share their projects. There's sometimes news about Scratch, fixes and updates they've done to the program, and places you can get help. I'm going to show you where we, we will be programming in Scratch. We do that inside the web browser, and I click on this Create tab here. So I'm going to click, and it takes me to the Scratch programming area. When you first start off, it's going to try to give you a little tutorial, and that's fine, but let's follow along what we're going to do in the class instead of what they suggest here. So I'm going to click the little X here to get rid of this tutorial area. In Scratch, you take characters like the Scratch Cat and command them to do things like make games or do animations, tell little stories, anything you really want. These characters are called sprites. Down here it says, here are the sprites we have, and there's just the Scratch Cat in here right now. There can be others we'll add later. This area here is called the stage, and it's where the sprites act out their program. Over here are a bunch of instructions that Scratch understands. Most of them are th ones that you can understand pretty easily as well. For example, this one says move 10 steps. This one says turn. We can point in different directions, and so on. Commands are sort of grouped by their functionality. So these are all the ones that move the cat around. But there's other kind of commands. So there's a pen set of commands that changes pen color, and so on. There's ones that make sounds. You can commands how the cat looks and how it says stuff. And we'll go back to the motion ones here uh, that moves the cat around. So these commands don't do anything until, until you try to build a program. I'm not going to build a program yet, but just to show you what they might do, I'm going to click on one of these command blocks, the one that says move 10 steps. When I click on it, you can see the cat moves forward a little bit. It might not look like much. 10 steps is only 10 little dots on the screen. So you have to click it a few times to make the cat move any significant amount. What I want you to do is make sure you can get to the Scratch program area. So go to the website, click on that Create tab, and try to get to this area here. Once you're here, you can click on a few things if you want, but let's go on before you get too involved in seeing what Scratch does. So try to get set up on Scratch, and then we'll go on to the next lesson.